Who? Who are these people? <laughs> oh, has he hypnotised her or something? Who does this stuff? <laughs> Making his breakfast and then putting his clothes out of a night? Is he disabled or something? Like, seriously. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most hilarious things that I think happens to afflict the woke side of the world, or the people telling you how to live your lives, is how quickly that they see someone slightly breaking their little rules and then they just jump on them and consume them in every single way possible. And ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly one of those situations that I need to introduce you to right bloody now, ladies. Butterfield, hurry the fuck up and talk about what you're going to talk about. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk about it, so let's talk about it. The super woke society, particularly feminists and even the dreaded male feminists, one of the things they do is when a woman steps out of line with their beliefs, they go on an all out attack and it's absolutely fucking disgusting. They try to bring them to their knees, they try to destroy them personally, financially and Unfortunately, professionally as well. They go after them in every single way possible. They tell their employer, they tell their friends, their families. They try to get these people cancelled just because they disagree slightly with what they say is the correct way to believe. All that type of bullshit is what we saw last week when a mother of four came out on a Facebook group that talks about mothers and cleaning and housework and shit like that and said that she does housework and cleaning and shit like that. Right? And then all these people came out and attacked this poor woman because she doesn't necessarily follow this feminist logic. In fact, she does the opposite. This young lady, Brooke, her name is, actually follows a more traditional way to live where the woman stays at home and the father works. Now, I'll get into that, but can I just say, do whatever the fuck you want to do. If you want to do it, fucking do it. If you, as long as you're not hurting anyone else, particularly if you're in a family and everything works together nicely, then fucking do that. But before we delve deep into this fuck up, this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. We spend as much time on the internet today as we do sleeping. That's a lot of time. And if you're traveling around the interweb unprotected, you have a lot of things on the line. You have your personal information, your credit card information, or your passwords. All these things that you hold near and dear to your heart are on the line. But people who use Surfshark VPN have these things protected. Surfshark encrypts your personal information through a VPN tunnel and keeps all those dirty soy boys away from knowing what's what when it comes to you. But it's not just that, you can change where you are in the world. What do I mean by that? Your IP address tells the internet basically where you are. You can change that with Surfshark and you can you can be in America, even though you're in Australia, you can be in America and you can watch American Netflix. How fantastic is that? If you feel like your mobile internet is too slow or heavy on your pocket, use Surfshark to quicken the connection and simply block ads that will use up your data plan and clutter the bandwidth. Ladies and gentlemen, get stuck into Surfshark VPN right now. Click the link below in the description or go to surfshark.deals forward slash the buttsman and use my promo code buttsman to get 83% off and one month for free. Free. This evil lady, Brooke Smith. You're an evil woman, lady. Ho ho ho, tell you what, fucking evil. Oh, it makes me sick uttering this patriarchal maiden's name. Oh, it just makes me ill. This person that hates women, old oh, Brooke. She posted this. I make sure I don't go to bed until everyone's lunches are packed. Oh, how horrific. That's disgusting. What an anti-feminist if ever I've heard one. That's, oh my God. Puts their clothes out for the next day, including my husband's, <laughs> the patriarchy. And make sure the house is clean, the dishwasher's on, the load of washing. Sometimes I mean, I, I go to bed at 9 and I get up at 12 midnight just to make sure I get everything sorted out. And I get up at 4.30 in the morning to make my husband breakfast and coffee. Now this is an important point right here. Because Brooke, you're a slave. You're a slave to your husband. How dare you get up at four in the morning and, and make him coffee and breakfast. This is disgusting. This is exactly what the feminists and the pussy hat wearers are out there fighting against, Brooke. Everything that you stand for. Except, that's not true at all. You see, Brooke actually gets up at 4.30 because her husband works all day and then goes and trains at night. You see, they own a boxing gym as well. So it's difficult for them to see each other. So they hang out for a little bit in the morning. They have a bit of a chat. 
And then Brooke goes, because she's already up, she thinks, why the fuck not? I'm going to get some meditation done. I'm going to get some exercise done. And then come around 6 o'clock in the morning, the kids start getting up. Because she's got four fucking kids under the age of like 6 or something. She's been busy. Apparently they didn't have Netflix. They've just been pumping out kids. Point being, she gets up early to get shit done. Not just a slave to her husband. Now, this is an interesting point because this is something the media did not at all report on. In fact, they did the opposite. They came out and said that Brooke is a slave to her husband. She's living in the 50s. He makes her get up and all this fucking bullshit. But then all of that ended up in newspapers all around the world. I think you'll find this really, really interesting because I found this uh, one thing that all these newspaper reporters had in common. Let's have a look at this. The New Zealand Hub. News Hub New Zealand. That article was written by Laura Grigg. Hmm. The Daily Mail, that article was written by Sophie Hazlitt. News.com, written by Hannah Payne. Kidspot, written by Faye James. All of these journalists have one thing in common, and that is they are women. I assume maybe they got 12 dicks, I don't fucking know. But I assume they are women, and what they are doing right now, they are seeing this woman, and they are seeing her as the enemy, and they're coming out in their hordes and attacking her, and that's fucking shit, ladies. Why would you bring other people down just because they slightly disagree with you? Well, not even disagree, I'm sure Brooke doesn't give a shit. She probably just wants to live her life. Who the fuck are you to tell them how to live their life? You're just some shit journalist. Go and fucking fuck off. <laughs> Quality writing, Isaac. Go and fucking fuck off. The one report that gave me the shits was the fucking Today Show. Oh, I'm absolutely filthy at this. I want to take you back to the 1950s, or at least that's what I thought when I read this Brisbane mum's Facebook post. Brooke Smith shared her routine online. Here's what she said. I always make sure I don't go to bed until everyone's lunches are packed, their clothes are set out for the next day, including my husband's, and the house is clean, dishwasher is on, and a load of washing is on. I always get up early, 4.30, with my husband to make his breakfast no. and coffee. Um, go, Brooke. See what they left out? Those fucking cocksuckers. Everything. They left out everything to do with what she does in the morning, her morning routine. They've just said that she's a fucking idiot who gets up at four in the morning and slaves away to a little husband. Fucking bullshit. Whatever. Um, I mean, I tell you what, though, Chrissy. I mean, a lot of people um, online are, are saying, "Well done," are, are praising her. Who? Who are these people? <laughs> oh, has he hypnotised her or something? Who does this stuff? I tell you, who does this? Anyone who fucking wants to. This is the overarching theme of this entire video. If you want to, if you want to be a woman and be a CEO, fucking good on your love. If you want to be a bloke and be a stay-at-home dad, will you be the best fucking stay-at-home dad that you can and raise those kids to be great people as well? Who gives a shit? Your fucking morning show host that no one gives a shit about. Do you know who watches your show? Sad fucks. And if you watch that show, you're a sad fuck. And if you watch the highlights of your show, you're a sad fuck like me who does his research. They left out that this husband of Brooks, he works construction, he works six days a fucking week, and then they own a gym together. He goes to the gym, he has a boxing, he, he trains boxing classes and all this type of business. They are fucking flat out. They've got four young kids under the age of six months. I don't know, they're flat out, all right? Stop judging people. Unless you've been in their shoes and you've managed to make this all work, you got you can't you cannot comment. When her husband gets home from work, he's gonna be physically fucking wrecked. Not only has he worked all day, 12 hours, 10 hours, whatever, he's then gone and trained. This is something the feminists will never understand because most female feminists, the real hardcore ones, have never worked a hard day in their life. They might have sat in an office chair and written all day and might be exhausted and fall asleep when they get home to a nice Clementine Ford book and a fucking big old black dildo, but they have not worked out in the sun all day, sweat their fucking hairy, hairy cunt out, and then got home and, and thought to themselves, well, I'm fucked, all right? They have not done that. And I think because they have not done that, fuck them to the moon. Making his breakfast and then putting his clothes out of a night? Is he disabled or something? Like, seriously? Ha 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 ha! Some people have carers because they're disabled. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Get a grip. Get off your bum and do stuff yourself. 
my uh, only theory is that she might actually like her husband and she might actually like to get up at 4 30 and spend yeah. some time. No, I mean, him. I like my husband, but make your own bloody breakfast <laughs> and coffee. He I does. mean, you know. All the credit in the world to this family. I don't know if they're good people or not. They seem like good people. They could be pieces of shit. Who fucking knows? But I'm sure they're lovely people. All credit to them. They're, they're running their family. They're getting out there. They're fit and healthy. All that shit. Fucking good on your Brooks Smith and your husband, whatever your bloody name is. Good fucking on your champ. Listen, one other thing that I'd really like to point out, other than today's show can go eat a fat dick, is that they said that this comment from Brooke or this post from Brooke went viral. It did not go viral, okay? That is a lie once again. It had like 239 likes, a couple of comments, and six shares. That is not fucking viral, okay? My videos right here get 600 comments in the first five seconds of being posted. Sure, they're all fucking idiots saying, oh, first, 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 first. But that is not virality. That is a lie from the newspapers because they found a story they know they can sink their teeth into and dickheads will react to it going, oh my God, I can't believe she does that. She's the fucking enemy to all the feminists everywhere. Nyeh. Fuck, that fell on my toe. Ladies and gentlemen, you may know, may have noticed that this is a new setup here. I've moved house and I've got a brand new studio. I've got another studio setting up uh, just in the other room, actually. So uh, I'm going to fucking... This fucking camera that I found at a garage sale just fell on my fucking toe. I've got the fucking shits and now I've got a limp. Although, although you know what? I'm uh, totally going to claim workers' comp on that. I'm uh, going to sue my boss, which is me, which is very sad. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got to say. If you're a good person, be a good person. If you want to cook for your husband, good on you, or cook for your wife, what, what, who gives a shit? Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Meet extinct, and I'll see you all very soon. Toodaloo of a... Uh, bye!